This is a four and a half litre blower Bentley, but is it? It's, it's interesting because it's based on a real chassis. It has a Bentley engine, but it's actually from an R-Type from the 1950s. So it has a more modern gearbox and it's been made to the specifications of its owner with the way the instruments are laid out and so on, which is what they would have done originally. The purists would get annoyed with this. They'd say, well, it's not a real Bentley, you're just pretending. But it's very much in the spirit of the Bentley. I've driven a real original one, well, it was on Top Gear a few weeks back. And it feels very similar, but just a lot easier to drive. The gear change is nothing like as cussed. The suspension works a bit better. It's got sort of modern tyres on it. And it's got, you know, hidden deeps inside there. There is electronic ignition and um, there's various refinements to supercharging and all that sort of thing. I think it's a fantastic thing. It will cost you uh, £320,000, which is obviously a great deal of money. But compared with some other things that we've seen that cost half a million, Bearing in mind that this is completely personalised, made in sheds by men in Devon, all this stuff is, you know, these lights are handmade by a man, he spins them on a lathe, they do their own machining and milling, they do their own plating, they do their own painting, metal fabrication and so on. I think, actually, in terms of the amount of artistry and artisanal skill that goes into that, it's cheap. I don't actually know how they do it for that much money. I believe, because I know a tiny bit about metalwork, I could make some of these bits. It would take me a month of evenings to do that. So how you make the whole car for less than two billion pounds is, is beyond me, to be honest. But he does, and he's not starving because he's quite tubby.